At a military cemetery outside Tbilisi, Tamari Berianidze has come to remember some of those who fought and died ten years ago. She and her family lost their home in Georgia's brief war with Russia in August 2008. Tamari now lives in a settlement built to house some 20,000 IDPs, or internally displaced people. Their homes and villages were swallowed up by a fortified boundary separating Georgia from the Russian-backed breakaway regions of South Ossetia and Abkhazia. Some of the IDPs prefer to forget what happened. Children are not taught their family's history of war and occupation. Forgetting these things is unbelievable to me. Many Georgians refuse to forget. Outside the building that was the Russian embassy until the two countries severed diplomatic ties after the war, they demand that Russia end what they call its occupation. It's our history. We are a European country and we will be part of Europe. So I want Russians to go out of my country. But Russia shows no sign of withdrawing thousands of its troops stationed in the breakaway regions, despite being required to do so under the EU brokered deal that ended the war. And there's good reason for that. What worries Russia far more than the loss of diplomatic ties with this former Soviet Republic, far more than this pretty undiplomatic protest, is the eastward expansion of NATO, taking in Georgia as a member and bringing that Western alliance right up to Russia's doorstep. NATO's promise to Georgia in early 2008 of a fast-tracked route to membership lit a fuse that made war inevitable. This week, as Georgia and NATO hold joint military exercises, Russia's Prime Minister Dmitry Medvedev has warned of a, quote, horrible new conflict. I spoke to a former Georgian foreign minister. If we stand where we stand today, we will always be vulnerable and we will always be blackmailed by Russia. So the only way is to move ahead, to join Europe, to join NATO and to be protected democracy like other Eastern Europeans. There were fears that the war ten years ago would pit Russia and NATO against one another over Georgia. That remains an alarming possibility.